Luke, a handsome millionaire in his 30s, is kneeling on one knee in front of Kathy, his beautiful girlfriend of two years. He is holding a ring box in his hand, proposing to her. Kathy, you are the love of my life. I want to spend the rest of my days with you. Will you marry me? Luke, I, I'm sorry. I can't. What? Why not? You don't love me? After everything we've been through? How can you say that? I'm sorry, Luke. I don't want to hurt you, but I have to be honest. I don't see a future with you. Is there someone else? Is that it? No, Luke. It's over. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Kathy turns around and walks out the door, leaving Luke alone with the ring. Kathy! Kathy, wait! Come back! Luke is walking aimlessly in the middle of the city, still holding the ring. He is frustrated and sad. He tries to throw away the ring, but he can't bring himself to do it. Damn it, Kathy! Why did you have to break my heart? Why did you have to reject me? He looks around and sees happy couples everywhere. He feels lonely and bitter. He tries to throw away the ring, but suddenly he spots a homeless girl. I have an idea. Luke approaches the homeless girl, Maya. I'll give you $500,000 if you agree to be my girlfriend for a month. What? I want to make someone jealous. Okay. You don't have to do anything for me. You don't have to love me or, or kiss me or hug me. You don't have to do anything for me. All you have to do is be my girlfriend. Okay. I'll do it. Luke takes Maya to a luxury boutique where he buys her fancy clothes to appear as his girlfriend. When Maya tries on one of the dresses, Luke is captivated by her beauty and silently finds himself attracted to her. Wow. Oh, she's stunning. What am I doing? He snaps out of his trance and walks up to her. You look amazing. Thank you. You're too kind. I like it when you blush. Makes you even more beautiful. They gaze into each other's eyes, feeling a spark of chemistry. He takes her hand and leads her out of the boutique, carrying the bags of clothes and accessories. Luke and Maya are walking around town when they see Kathy. Kathy is sitting, scrolling through her phone. Luke and Maya begin to act like a couple in front of Kathy, intentionally making her jealous. Luke introduces Maya as his girlfriend to Kathy, further rubbing salt in the wound. Maya, too, starts developing feelings for Luke in silence. Hey, Kathy, this is Maya. Kathy looks up and sees Luke holding hands with Maya. Maya! Wow, that's fast. Yes, I'm with Maya now. It's nice to finally meet you, Kathy. Kathy looks at them, feeling a pang of jealousy. I see you've moved on quickly. I have. And I'm happy. Maya looks at Luke, feeling a flutter in her chest. Me too. Luke and Maya's closeness, Kathy starts feeling jealous. She tries to win Luke back by telling him she accepts his previously rejected proposal. 
few weeks later, Luke and Maya are sitting together watching a movie in the living room. Suddenly, the doorbell rings. Ding! Ding! Who could that be? Maybe it's the pizza guy. Luke gets up and walks to the door. He opens the door and sees Kathy, his ex-girlfriend, standing there. She is holding a bouquet of roses and wearing a red dress. He lets her in and closes the door and she hands him the roses. Luke, I need to talk to you. About what? About us. Us? There is no us, Kathy. We broke up three weeks ago. I know, I know. But I've been thinking a lot about you. And I realized that I made a huge mistake. Luke begins to feel his acting with Maya succeeding in getting Kathy back to him. I accept your proposal. Luke is surprised and delighted when Kathy finally accepts. I'm so happy you said yes. I love you. Overjoyed by Kathy's acceptance, Luke ends the arrangement with Maya as his hired girlfriend. He pays Maya the proposed $500,000. But to his surprise, she refuses to accept the money. I don't want your money. Why? I am sincerely giving this money because you've helped me. I don't want your money because I'm in love with you now. But I know you love Kathy and I'm just a hired girlfriend. Luke was surprised and shocked by Maya's confession. In his heart, he also fell in love with Maya. But now Kathy is back in his life. Luke reluctantly proceeds with his relationship with Kathy after her acceptance. A saddened Maya walks away from Luke, realizing she was just a hired girlfriend. Despite her feelings for him, she understands that as a homeless girl, she could never be Luke's choice. Maya decides to leave the city. A few weeks later, Luke accidentally sees Kathy with a man entering a hotel and uncovers Kathy's cheating on the day before their wedding. Cheating on Luke with someone else, breaking his heart once again. Kathy is in bed with the man when Luke barges in. How could you do this to me, Kathy? Luke! What are you doing here? You're cheating on me. It's not what you think. Don't lie to me, Kathy. I can't believe I ever trusted you. Luke, please. I'm sorry. It's over, Kathy. I can't be with someone I can't trust. Luke, finally understanding that Maya was his true love all along, regrets not realizing it sooner. Determined to find her, Luke embarks on a journey to find Maya and win her back. I was so stupid not seeing the love that was in front of my eyes all this time. I have to find her. Luke arrives at the bus station where he thinks Maya might have gone. He looks around, but she is nowhere to be found. Where? Where could she be? Luke searches for Maya all over the city for several days, and finally he spots a homeless girl in a sad state. That girl is Maya. Maya! Luke? I'm sorry for everything. I should have realized sooner that you were the one for me. I thought you were happy with Kathy. I was wrong. You're the one I love. I love you too. Luke and Maya embrace each other. 
In the pursuit of love, let us remember the value of presence and sincerity. Often we find ourselves consumed by chasing an illusion of affection, only to overlook the genuine love that stands before us. Instead of ignoring those who sincerely care for us, let us open our eyes and hearts to appreciate the love that is right in front of us.